I feel like there is a camera watching us in the event. Meet the donor siblings. So we had already met one of these siblings previously. He was reminding us to start Vlogmas. Day Would you two. Like to see the time? This is late. Wait, that time is wrong. What's the actual time? 5.37. Oh, let me turn the TV off so I can hear us. It says early start. <laughs> 5.37. That's actually late because we got up at 5. We got up at 5, like on the dot. So I got a little alarm clock built in. They usually don't get up that early. Well, that's six at home. But they're usually not up at six, but yesterday they barely had naps, oh. which is fine because we went to bed at nine. So we really did sleep. They didn't wake up between nine and five. They, yeah, they slept through the night. They slept in. So we just went downstairs to get coffees. Oh, this is a tampon. From a <laughs> this is I started my period. Yeah, this is leftovers from our pizza. And now I'm going to pour the coffees into my new mug. Well, my god, I got two. And you got a mocha. They say that New York City is the city that never sleeps. Five. At 5 a.m. on a Monday. Seems pretty quiet out there. I was thinking maybe we could go to the cafe like really early and find one open, but I don't know if there is Cheers. any. I'm going to be brave. What are you going to do? I'm going to find a spot to take a family photo and not care. Oh, you got this girl. You are brave. As long as it's a safe, like a place that I can set there. Yes. Ali said that these are really good, these Milky Boost capsules. So it gives you, okay, like it's like cream, but also tinted. See, look at that. It is look, it looks good. Your skin looks nice. And it's just like, it's so easy for travel. to pack because it doesn't spill. I love them. And it smells nice, like peach. Ooh. I feel like there is a camera watching us in the event. Oh, wow. It looks like it's Can we confirm that it's not? Like, it's a little weird that there's a flashing green light. It kind of is, like. That does happen. I hope that's not what's happening right now. I like got a beautiful coffee. It's an interview. Very yeah, festive. This is the little grocery store that we go to. This is so weird of me to do. Is Casey nice to <laughs> the YouTubers? Uh, where his studio is. I just noticed it was right next to the grocery store. So I thought I would just take a look. Because the kids are up. 
he'd walk home, I said, I recognize this place. It's Taylor Swift's house. So, hi Taylor. I don't know if you live there, so you're also on tour, but just passing through. <laughs> Random thing. So many people waiting to take photos, but look at how cute. Oh, it's Ghostbusters. That's why everyone's waiting to take photos. Special. I assume from the movie. One thing we knew we wanted to do in New York was go to Macy's. It is the largest department store in the U.S. and they are known for doing crazy outlandish window displays and decorating Macy's to the nines. So we knew we wanted to see it ourselves in person. Look at the Christmas decorations. It's the Grosso Mexican spot. So we decided we would stop to get some food while we're out adventuring. I'll show you the Christmas lights in the main area. It's so cute. Look at the lights! Oh my god, look the trees covered in little avocado ornaments. Bryan Park Winter Village. But, fun, fun fact, that is the library, like the New York City Library, and Allie and I once went to a gala there. I will insert some footage now, it was the Knot Gala. Such a cool experience, it was so fun. They were one of the not most influential weddings of 2019. It was such a cool experience. Inserting footage now. All of the iconic Christmas spots in New York with decorations are all kind of located in the same area, kind of in Midtown Manhattan. So we walked around there and looked at all of the beautiful light displays. They were so pretty and so like iconic and classic New York at Christmas. We're home, we as are you can home. tell. I think this is a little fuggy. I think it is a little dirty, eh? A little scrub it up dub I planned on filming this when we were in New York, but yeah. the evenings were just way too loud with the white noise. Oh, and the oh twins yeah, sleeping. you literally couldn't hear. So. As you have realized. So the next thing that we did between looking at all the Christmas lights was go to Central Park and meet the donor siblings. So we had already met one of these siblings previously and then we met two new ones. Yeah. And it was so nice to connect and get to know the kids and the parents. And they hadn't all met either. So yeah. it was like it was really nice. Five kids all together and it was so fun getting to see them all play together and getting to know the other parents. We went to Central Park and played at like a playground there for quite a while. Yeah, but it basically till all the kids were done. <laughs> yeah, until it was like dark outside and we like yeah. had to leave. The kids all did really well considering they're all little toddlers. They, none of them were really shy with each other. They were like very excited to play and it was so sweet, it was so nice. It's really fun having the twins have siblings all over. I know. Because then when we're traveling somewhere, we can be like, hey, do you want to meet up? Do you want to hang out? I know. So it was fun with some of them living in New York, getting to hang out. Yeah, Especially getting to meet some of the new ones that couldn't make it to like the big family meet up. Yeah. It was, it was really cool, so I'm really glad we got to do that. I know, and then on future travels, maybe we'll run into even more donor siblings. I'm sure we will. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, that was a really good thing, and I'm glad we did it. I know. It's really nice, I think, for the kids, because they're siblings, to all get to have, like, some kind of relationship yeah. now that they're little. And then when they're older, they can decide how they want to define their relationships, and if they're close or if they're not. Yeah. Like, leave that up to them, but... I think that it's nice that we're giving them all the opportunity to get to know each other when they're kids because, like, they can't get their childhoods back. Yeah, exactly. And then they can decide what they want to do Yeah. whenever they are able to decide. Yeah, and yeah. we will support them no matter what. Yeah. So it was very fun. I know a lot of people often ask how um, to find donor siblings. So we can touch on that super quick. Yeah, there's a lot of ways. There's the donor sibling registry. Some of the sperm banks, I think, have maybe They're all different registries. registries. Uh, you can just Google and see if there's like a Facebook group. Or a forum somewhere. Yeah, so honestly, the internet, there's a lot of information out there. So if you just like 
look for your donor number. Yeah. You might come across some other things or yeah. some people who or use the donor. Or searching the donor number in donor-conceived groups, where yeah. sometimes you'll see a parent who will be like, I like, use this donor. Connect. Yeah, so there are a lot of different ways that you can do it, but yeah. Highly recommend. Yeah. It's been a really good experience. It's so been really good. We're families. very lucky. This is called sparkling wine. Cheap sparkling. Very cheap sparkling wine. Just is it even sparkling wine? What's it called? It's sparkling wine. Just peachy. Natural peach flavor. Mm. Wine product. <laughs> They took our glasses because they cleaned our room. Drink it out And this the is for surviving a Christmas day in New York. That's, I walked about 14,000 steps, or 14 kilometers today. What? Good night. I'm saying good night to the block. She said it. Oh, she's good. She's so good. I'm wearing, baby wearing the twins around And you New York stink. City. And I stink. And she stinks so bad. Someone else want her? No, don't. You can't have her. But she <laughs> stinks. The tw we have baby She's wearing the twins around New York City. And oh my god, it's so hard on the body. It's actually very hard on the body. <laughs> it's so weird. So we're going to go in bed reading and now it's time to do this. Hopefully it won't be another 5 a.m. wake up. But we'll see. We'll see. Better get to bed in case. Vlogmas day two. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. See you tomorrow.